Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, we find facts and fine tune figures. So, to get started, just go to app.pabi.com, which is going to take you into Fabric Environment. That is after you must have created your developer account or you are using a free trial account. So, down here, you have a Pabi logo where you can switch to any of the workloads within Microsoft Fabric. Then we have Data Factory Experience. On Data Factory Experience, there are a number of things that you can create either your data flow gen 2 or your data pipeline which can be used for your data uh, ingestion and also you have your data activator within your data activator this is where you do uh, your data monitoring or you are trying to monitor an event within your data set so you can create a data reflex here where you can do that and then also you have your synapse engineering within the synapse engineering you can create a lake house notebook environment spark job data pipeline import notebook and also you can use samples that have been provisioned together within every tenant and then you have your data science experience within data science experience you can create your machine learning model experiments you can also use your notebook you can create an environment so you can even import a notebook or there are some sample machine learning model that is available that you can get started with shortly then also we have your data warehousing experience where you can create your data warehouse and of course you can ingest data into your warehouse using data pipeline or other methods that you are going to be using and also we have real-time analytics where you can create your KQA database your event stream and all of that that you can use within your microsoft fabric environment before i continue let me just do a general introduction for one link one link in microsoft fabric is the one drive for all data a single SaaS lake for the entire organization it is automatically provisioned for your tenants and every workload within fabric are feeding on your one lake environment either your data warehousing your data integration your data science or data analytics they are all going to be feeding on this one lake storage and it is hierarchical namespace now within one lake you have just one copy of data for all the compute power that you have in fabric either your spark engine or your serverless compute all of them are going to be feeding from this same one link and what that also means is that it is one security for everything you have in your one link environment and data in one link environment is, is stored in a data format called packet format which is an open standard format for tabular data in microsoft fabric taking Apart from having um, one leg that is available for you, there is something called shortcuts that you can actually also put within your one leg environment. Shortcuts is a sort of a bridge or a link between your existing one leg tenants and other services. It could be another cloud like Google Cloud, like your Amazon Cloud, or even on Azure itself. So you don't necessarily have to move or migrate your data. You still have your data in the original environment, just that you are creating a shortcut that serves as a link for your data within Fabric environment. <music> 